Sweetie? Yeah. It's time. No. Are you filming? Yes. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's Grim. I've been trying so hard to lose this hundred pounds. And you guys have been following me for the last month. You know, a month ago, it's been like trying to get this last pound off me has been so hard. My starting weight was 346 pounds. And I'm trying to hit 246. It keeps coming up 247, 248. I just want you to say 246 or less. Are you ready? Here we go. I can't look. I can't look. You did it! What did it say? It's 245! No way! It's 245! You did it! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! I won't be stopped and I won't ever be stopped! Yeah! Yeah, bitch! Let me see. Do it again. There it is, bitch! Yes, it's there! We did it! You did it! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Beat him and weep! Beat him and weep! I can't! <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you! I'm so happy for you! Now we just got 45-50 more pounds to go! I can be a cruiserweight! Yay! What was your biggest exactly? 340, 346 pounds. And this is it right here. And I feel like when I put this video on and I stand next to Malachi Black, right there, that's the biggest I ever was. I might even be bigger than 346 in this one. That Look how much it hurt. I remember. I remember it sometimes you'd just lay in bed and when you were trying to sleep, you would like snore really I couldn't loud. breathe because all that weight was like, it was like trying to sleep like this. <sighs> It was like being suffocated. How did I live? How did I wrestle? I don't know, but you were you still were able to run around people. I, st I was still jumping off the top rope, squishing people this big. But you have an idea how much that hurt? It was like, and then I couldn't get up. Aww. Dude, you know what? All right. So you see how big I am here, right? Mm -hmm. But there was a match when I fought against Tito Santana. I remember that. That was like one of the first, um, what was it, G the first GTS appearances. This yeah, yeah, this was right before Halloween. I remember this. Yeah, and I, dude, I was so big in this match. I remember like not being able to breathe. Mm. Right there. Oh, God, drinking. Drinking the Tito's. Remember, that was the payoff. Guys, I don't drink anymore. Oh, you did. That might have been why. You might have been really bloated or not Right, of probably. course. That's why it was like when people were like, Grim, you're an alcoholic. Like, dude, alcoholics don't aren't in the best shape of their life, aren't losing 100 pounds, aren't in the freaking gym every day. Right there, that's when I was drinking. I'm literally holding the goddamn Tito's in my hand. The most beautiful thing about me, I live my life out in the open for everybody to see. So when I'm fat, out of shape, and tanking up on Tito's, it's obvious I'm doing it in a video. <laughs> look at Jungle Jim, the cameraman back there. I feel like that was like forever ago, but it really wasn't. Yeah, look, there I am, drinking Tito's, on camera. Oh. And now fighting, fighting... I'm saying, man, if I was tanking up, I'd be tanking up on camera. <laughs> Look how big my stomach is in this. How did I even breathe? And this is one of my favorite matches of all time. Fighting Tito Santana was like a dream come true. He's a legend. Tito Santana was the first guy to ever pin The Undertaker. So if Tito could pin The Undertaker and then I pin Tito, that means I can beat The Undertaker. Let me know in the comments below if you follow my logic. But not being this big... I can't believe I even beat Tito being this big. Do you have any idea how hard it was to breathe? Guys, if you're big. I remember you snored. Yeah, guys, if you're big, like, do you struggle to breathe from getting so big? Because I got so big that I couldn't breathe anymore. And oh, and then I remember right there, Joe Wolf chokes me on the ropes. And I'm like gasping for air as I was laying there on the mat with that big giant stomach. But you never let it stop you. I didn't, and I'm glad that you recognize that. I don't let anything stop me. I don't care if it's Tito. Dude, this was a good video. How many views did this have? Because this was such a good video. Guys, go back and watch some of these videos. And watch, look at me getting rolled around and fighting. Big bloated. I was so giant. Ooh. 
You know what one I want to show you? Which one? Um, this one. I felt huge in this too. Do you remember this? Which one? What was it? Brandon Rogers. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cool. That you got so to I got to perform with Brandon Rogers first of all. Yeah, that was right? such an honor. But but look how big I am in that coat. <laughs> I remember sometimes your Camaro was tight and you couldn't fit in it. I yeah, remember. and that hurt. Guys, I'm just going to be honest. Being fat sucks. And I hate this. And I want this gone too. But then what am I supposed to do? Because I'm hungry. And right now I'm starving. I've only eaten twice today. I ate steak and eggs for breakfast. And I ate a turkey taco bowl for lunch. These are all the meals that I eat. Hibachi shrimp, turkey taco, turkey burger. This is how I lost weight. This is the most cheatingest one. Chicken tender, mac and cheese. Eat three or four of these a day, and I do so good. Yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you, babe. And you've been doing good, too. Tina's been doing it, too. I know how hard it is. Girls lose weight differently than guys. And it's just one of those things. But you've lost a ton of weight since last year, too. I did. I also bulked up because I'm muscular. Right. So, She's an Amazonian woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So, but this Malachi Black one. Oh, oh my God. Look how big I am right there. That's the one. I used that as my... Gosh, the camera, it looks like she's not clothed the way the angle is. <laughs> it's fake fur. I know, she stuck a wig in her panties. That was so <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> ah. All right, so first of all, if you guys go back and watch this video with Brandon Rogers, if you're a fan of Brandon Rogers, I got to go on stage with Brandon Rogers. I got to perform with Brandon Rogers as a member of the crowd. I just put my hand up and got picked. And then we did this, like, three-minute bit that seemed like it was scripted. Everybody thought it was a plant. I was like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> the only thing that upset me about it was like Brandon Rogers didn't be like, yo, that was awesome. Okay, so that might have been a I wanted to get sold for. I wanted to get put over. I thought I did really good in that scene. And it was you all did. on the I was fly. shocked. I'm like, I've been a Brandon Rogers fan forever. And right. then you're like, my fiance at the time, now <laughs> husband was working with Brandon Rogers. Right, isn't that On neat? stage for, <laughs> for a bit. I was like, so proud, oh, so of, proud of you. Thank, thank you. And this was this was cool. Yeah, when I was talking to Malachi, but I just can't believe how big I was. Imagine if he was like not cool and was like a dick and wanted to beat me up, bro. I would have to fight Malachi Black being that big. Could you imagine how hard that would have been? Hmm. I don't know. I, I look. I never underestimated you. You were amazing, no matter what size. You've thank been you. At. Thank you, my love. And you know what? I am amazing no matter what size I was at. Because even being the biggest bastard, I still beat everybody up. I was still winning belts. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of on like a losing streak right now. You know why? I've been in my head about things. Yeah. There's Sunny Kiss. And look at this big fat double chin. My God. I'm like the size of a truck. I still loved you though. You know what? And you want to know what's beautiful, Tina? And I'm going to pause this for a second. And I want to put this over to you guys. Because, guys, I thank you for watching. I thank you guys supporting me through everything. You guys helped see me through. But you know who else really helped me see me through was this one right here. Mm -hmm. My Tina. And she's been so good to me. And not only that, but, like, Tina came to me when I was at my biggest. I was 340-ish pounds when you met me. And I, I was, it was COVID. It was I was stuffing my face, and then that's just what we did. I took you on dates and stuffed your face. Yeah, and that's why I'm here <laughs> but, but, like, you loved me no matter what I looked like. Mm -hmm. You encouraged me no matter how big I was. Mm -hmm. You were proud of me no matter if I was 350 pounds or 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. And as I'm now 100 pounds lighter, which is like a whole person, mm -hmm. I appreciate the fact that you gave me a chance when I was huge. And um, it's my pleasure to level up and give you a skinnier, more athletic, healthier person. The most important thing is, is that you're happy. Well, this is the thing. I wasn't happy when I was that big. His face. Yeah, I was um, trying not to. <laughs> His face. Now, here, we'll go back to where I was that big. Bro, I was, like, as much as I was happy, like, because I was with you and we were having a good life and doing all fun things, but it hurt. And every day was a struggle. And I couldn't breathe. And then it would be like, 
Everybody all day long. Grim, man, you gotta pay attention to your health. Come on, dude, you're getting big. Man, why are you going to McDonald's? Come on, Grim, stop eating it. Yeah. Come on, Grim, stop put, putting cheeseburgers in your mouth. Like, and then you feel like you can't eat. Because every time you just eat food, people are judging you. Like, I feel like, try to take a bite. And then they're looking at me. So what? I'm not that big. Like, no, I was. Like, oh my God. I, I feel like I'm so sorry for him. And I'm so sorry I let him get that big. Because it hurts. And I don't want to ever be in that pain again. One of the biggest reasons that I got motivated to do this was because I felt like I was going to die. And, and I'll probably get canceled for this until the end of the video. So if you're still watching, try to cancel me. I don't care. It's not healthy. I don't care what anybody says. Fat's healthy. Fat. Dude, no, you can be. And I was awesome. You've seen how awesome I am. Okay? And, and, and if anybody said, Grim, you're unhealthy, this, I said, no, look at me. I'm, I'm happy and I'm comfortable and I'm doing my thing. But at the same time, I knew it wasn't healthy. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to pick on anybody who's big because I was huge. It happens. But the thing is, I knew I wasn't going to last. I felt it. I felt my body shutting down. I felt my body saying, I can't hold all this weight. And, and, and you don't see that many old fat people. Because your body's not going to last. And I want my body to last. You want to know why? Mm. I want to be with you. Mm. And I want to be with Molly and Amy, my daughters. I love them so much. And I said, I can't let their dad just balloon up into a dude who's going to die at 50 years old because he couldn't stay out of McDonald's. It's not fun. It's not cute. And it's not healthy. And I'm so glad that I was able to fight my way out of that. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And guys, like the video if you're proud of me. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of you guys, too, if you're putting in the work. And, dude, if you're chubby, like, I'm not trying to say, like, anything bad because me, too. What I'm trying to say is sometimes we lose sight of what we're supposed to be doing. And we're supposed to be in shape. We're supposed to take care of ourselves because if we don't take care of ourselves, how the hell do you expect to last? How do you expect to be here? Self-care is the most important thing. And I say that, I've learned that. That now I say to myself, and I say to you too, Tina. I say, Tina, I need you to take good care of my wife because I love her. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you don't take care of my wife, she's not going to be good. To, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. she's going to be a mess. Okay. So take care of my wife. And the only person that could take the best care of my wife is my wife. And same, the only person that could take care of me is me. The only person that can stop putting the food in my mouth is me. The only person that can make myself go to the gym is me. And I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to lose the rest of this. I'm going to look like a goddamn cruiserweight. I want you all to be proud of me. I thank you guys for watching the video. I thank you guys for supporting me on this journey. We're going to keep doing it. And I want to motivate you guys. Let me know in the comments below your weight loss stories, your weight loss journeys, or if you're struggling. I'll be there for you because you guys were there for me. And if you're not down with that, we ain't got three words for you no more because we're done eating it, yeah. So if you're not down with that, you're going to get snapped by a Slim Graham.